What's up YouTube, I'm Frank and I'm here to answer any and all of your questions and today I'm going to be showing you four great bookstores here in Houston, Texas that are perfect for a date. So go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and let's do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this list with number one in no particular order, the book cycle. Now, on the outside, it may look like an abandoned warehouse, and well, that's because it kind of is. But on the inside, not only does it feel like you stepped into a secret magical place, but it has the perfect atmosphere for a date. I'm talking about low, intimate lighting that is perfect for conversations on a date. And what makes this place unique is the fact that every single book is free you don't have to buy any of these because literally you go in and you pick whichever book you want and it's free now you can bring in some of your old books and donate them but you don't have to anybody can come in and grab books for free it's really cool and the book lover in your life is going to love it my suggestion would be that if you are planning on visiting this location tell your date about the book exchange and then both of y'all can find books that you no longer read that you used to read as a kid and bring them here it would make great conversation and it's something unique to do so let's go ahead and move on to the second location all right so coming in at number two is called murder by the book now i feel dumb now because i should have realized this simply by the name but this bookstore specializes in crime mystery and suspense thrillers those types of books so keep that in mind if you know someone who's into mysteries i personally think it was this guy i mean look at him he's wearing a bow tie if that's not the face of a guilty murdering psychopath i don't know what is the aesthetics of this bookstore is perfect for a date. There's a lot of places for really cool selfies. And honestly, the pictures that line the bookshelves make this place feel special. Like it's not just a franchise, which it isn't. It's a small bookstore and is run by actual people. And that's really cool. And while I sit and try to figure out who killed who with what and where, let's head to the third location. Coming in at number three is Kaboom Books. And no disrespect to all the other bookstores on this list, but I gotta be honest, this is my personal favorite. Because as soon as you walk in, it feels like you were literally transported into Hogwarts. I mean, they have bookshelves lined from floor to the freaking ceiling. This is every book lover's dream of what a bookstore should be. It makes you feel like you're a wizard looking in the restricted section for some obscure book. And they have a lot of books. And I mean a lot of books. And by the end, I felt like all these books gave me magical powers, like they taught me their dark secrets. I felt like I can grab my wand and point it at my enemy and say the killing curse of what I can't stop. But I'm not a wizard, so I can't do any of that. Yeah, so let's flu powder our ass to the last location. Bonds and Oba. All right, so finishing off the list is Barnes & Noble. This is a staple of bookstores. It's not a small one, it is a franchise, but it's an amazing one nonetheless. This particular location is perfect for a date, not only because the inside is beautiful, it just is, it did just have a remodel. There's a large selection, graphic novels, traveling books, basically anything you want, they have it here. But also down the street, there's a lot of shops and the River Oaks Theater just across the street, which is perfect for after or before the bookstore. And it's a perfect place to put my theory to the test. Quick look over my shoulder to make sure nobody hears the theory. See, my theory is that if you could go on a date with someone to a bookstore and have fun, you can literally have fun doing anything. That is my theory, take it or leave it. But I believe that there is some 
truth to that statement, if you think about it. Uh, but yeah, getting back to Barnes & Noble, upstairs they have a really great game selection. Trust me, a good board game on a date is perfect. It could be like this weird artichoke one. Apparently it's for gardeners who want to do gardening. I don't know what kind of game that is, but there is better options out there like this one here that incites conversation, which is perfect for a date. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these bookstores would you actually go to on a date? And also, where do you go on a date? I'm very curious. And why would you walk in front of a camera and glare at it when you know it's there? Just don't walk in front of the camera. Crazy lady. Uh, but yeah, so go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Smash the thumbs up button. Follow me on Instagram. And I will see you in the next video. You have a kick-ass day.